So, everyone, I'm back to live. I'm gonna just around four seconds. So, <laughs> just explain. Now, I'm gonna explain some of astrophysics before that because I didn't explain that. Homo sapiens actually came from my evolutionary chat. Check out that video on my channel, Mira's Orbit, or check out my other live about that. So, there, uh, I'm gonna first explain what is space time. Space time is some sort of thing like a web. So this sheet of paper, when something goes on it and makes a bump, that's well gravity. And it makes a lot of waves, and that is called gravitational waves that rotates anything around that planet or or broken in it into pieces if it's at the roof limit. So okay, space time is done. Exotic matter is what I had already explained. Now I say how star collapses. It actually collapses with supernova and then collapses into a black hole into a singularity point where each each atom size thing equals mass infinity of a black hole. Could you imagine that? That means, uh, could you ever make the earth size, uh, earth size sound which still has the same mass? That's like that question. Or a marble on a spoon which, which is actually the sun but it has the same, uh, same uh, sort of material and uh, but the, also the mass. That's a lot of big question. Dark matter. Dark matter though is kind of an invisible thing which actually holds the universe together. Dark, uh, no, actually expands the universe. Dark energy though pushes the universe inward so that the equal f uh, the equal force is distributed. Okay, we have done astrophysics. Let's just go to its chemistry time now. Now it's chemistry time, it's a lot hard to explain this, but since the Big Bang, there have been three types of particles from this substance sort of thing, or you see this subatomic particle. There is actually a thing named the particle zoo. In fact, uh, a physicist first invent, uh, saw an electron, an electron, neutron, and proton, but when they broke that on a particle accelerator, and bro uh, they for, uh, for took some more particles and if they broke that more particles in fact that high one famous scientist at 1900 for around 1945 state the physicist who will get the nobel prize will be the person who will not discover an sub uh, atomic another particle in this year that in fact that much it was it helps us to understand this thing now, but they didn't understand it. It was just work for them, and work is always boring, like studying. Except for these studies, I like that. <laughs> so, Big Bang. There were two things called quartz boson quartz and leptons. In fact, I am not going to cut particle zoo there because that's the ugliest work and not much available in the internet since every around every day there is one particle and but there is a thing known as the standard model on this area which is thing a first type of lepton is an electron or something known as a type of quark is a quark in fact i know all of them a quark down quark charm quark strange quark Top quark and bottom quark. I only know all of them. That's because that, that's the easiest information. Gwaj boson though is actually it has photon. That means when light hits me like this, I, I that vitamin D is carried by the photon. Kind of like that. I'm I am not a biologist like that. So kind of. So the, the electron was formed by uh, both by the leptons and the up the difference uh, I'll just and quark. So the difference between the electrons and the rest of the subatomic particle is that it has one up quark, two down quarks. Neutron and proton have one down quark and two up quarks. 
That's kind of amazing to think. Um, keep in mind that some of this information is from other sources. So, the, from electron, we go to the atom. Uh, electron, neutron, proton, all created the atom. Helium. Why you ask helium? Because that's the lightest element. Kind of the lightest, lightest element. So, uh, so, after that, created lithium after one generation. That is solid, but when we heat slash melt, it becomes lithium liquid, which is which formed the first. You just check this book out. It's called the periodic table. Okay. Uh, so this is called the reactive. Um, these are called the reactive metals. Um, they are actually it shouldn't be called reactive metals because what I have traced is most of them are liquid. A good example of that is cesium. It's stored in it's stored in oil bottle because you have to check this flap out. That's an extremely funny thing. Cesium here death state. Cesium is stored in bottles of oil because when it it hits the air. It is exposed to air. It explodes. <laughs> That's a fun thing, but we'll just don't just take it seriously. It's from a brand, so you can buy this book by yourself. I don't encourage you. This is from all the way from Finland. So, so there. Uh, uh, let's go to the solid. There is base semi metals and transition metals. Transition metals are these things. All sorts of shiny metals except for gold and copper. They are the only elements that are kind of brass color. So, so we have got all the way from that. Keep in mind this is not the real thing of the uh, more standard model. This is tested. At, these are tested at Geneva, Switzerland. Out, uh, outside area, you see this area is Geneva and this area is the particle accelerator, the biggest in, in fact, the biggest in the world. The solid, there's base and semi metals and transition metals, as I see. So, transition metals have some hard properties, they are extremely hard, they cannot be broken, but not shapeable, unlike plastic. Okay, so. If we go to the uh, uh, base and semi metals, here we go. Base and semi metals. A good example of base and semi metals are aluminium, which is a base metal, and antimony, which is a semi metal. Okay, so it is perfectly done about this area. Although I want to go to outside region, so let's go to the solid area. So, no gas area. We go to solid area. Reactive, radioactive. These should be called radioactive, not metals. Uh, kind of like metals, so like and all that. If this should be called radioactive groups, because most of them are dead. The most famous of these are uranium. Noble gas is a gas and Despite their name, you might think they are liquids, but they are actually gas themselves, and that's a fun. They have neon. The, uh, neon is the most popular of them. Halogen, though, is, halogen, though, is a kind of extremely reactive, the most reactive you can find. It's around this area. Chlorine is a good example of it. There's also non metals, which is oxygen. Most of this comes in the form of gas. Okay, so I'm gonna take a two minute break just like that, and we are gonna disconnect for a bit until we go back into this. Take up this periodic table thing firstly, and let's go off now.